why don't you run through your whole shopping list of shirts? <laughs> not not <laughs> and, that many, man. <laughs> I mean, Crest is like a very difficult one to have anyway. So why don't you go through that? What was your journey to get that? Let's <laughs> let's like give the value out for people wanting to go in that direction. And Crest yeah, is now in the, in the States now. So yeah, uh, Crest nice. is taking over the world. <laughs> So that is a really interesting story. And I remember this. So one of the my first interaction with this person in charge was I, I, I spoke with him. You know, we, we had a bit of like introduction on like what my background is, what I've been doing. And one of the things I said to him was I would love to get involved with internal testing purely because I've been doing a lot of API and web testing for two years. And I couldn't go on site because I was a student. I had to still go classes. Uh, and uh, you know, it just didn't, didn't work out with the time. Uh, but now, now that I'm into a full-time you know, job, I can. I would love to get that exposure. Um, and at that time, internal testing was seen a bit of a luxury. You know, it's, it's, it's something you, you give for people who love traveling uh, and stuff like that. So I didn't go a single internal job for the first year and a half at the company. And not because I wasn't good enough. Again, it was purely because the person didn't like me. But, and I could have seen, I could have sat there, I could have mobbed about it and so, right? The way I did it, I told myself, you know what, actually, I've done so many app testing. So if this person is going to just give me app testing, I'm just going to go and do CCD app. That was never the plan. I never actually thought I'll do CCD app. Um, but just because I had done so much and this person was pushing me out into app test one after the other, I was like, you know, let me just make use of this situation I've got here. And I've become so, and you know, if, if you have done CCD, we all know it's a lot about the speed uh, and doing it really quickly. And I was I was churning out app testers like every week, a new app. That's all I was doing. Quite monotonous. his face when you came back <laughs> with CCD. <app. laughs> I know, I, I, I was, um, at least at the time in the company, I was one of the youngest one to hold it. Um, and it, it purely came with, you know, he put me in a situation where he thought he's, you know, kind of putting me in a difficult place, making my life really boring. But I was like, I'm going to make use of it and find some positive twist to it, which was I'm going to go and do CCD app. That's why I did. And what that did was that put a little bit of a statement out that, you know, an associate has CCD. And people's perspective towards me change a little bit. And you know how the industry is. Everyone knows that once you get CCD, you're you know, seen quote unquote elite. Uh, I'm not claiming I'm one. I'm just saying that's the perspective that we have. So hey, thing, you uh, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, yeah, that, that's a different different thing. But I'm just saying that that changes the perspective. Um, and that was actually my way to do a lot of red team. So I actually, in my career, I've done a very few internal pen tests. But what I did was at the time red team lead, because I was one of the youngest and, and you know the lowest grade holding CCT, I was very cheap as a resource, right? And I remember having this conversation with the red team lead at the time in the company saying, we, we didn't do a lot of application abuse for our red team. So I was like, you know what, I've got CCT, you know, I know what I'm doing. Can I get an opportunity in a red team to do so? And naturally all the red team as well at the time CCT, in CSAS, Sam, but there was no CCD. App. I think actually there was there was one CCD app, uh, but it was a senior manager or, or a manager, so it was quite expensive, right? So it was really easy for them for me now to be from move from app testing to red teaming directly because I'm I'm really cheap as a resource. So when you say a uh, cheap resource for everyone out there listening, it's because of the grade that you are at currently, right? And so as a senior yeah. associate you are billed out to a client at X amount and you yeah. have this skill, but yeah. the other guy with the same skill is a senior manager. So there's manager above that and then he's there. So yeah. his time chargeable to this client will be a lot more. So just for clarity that when you're saying cheap resource, it's yeah. there because you have the skill set. you've basically stormed them by your certification and said, Hey guys, like I don't need to be a senior manager. I can do this. At <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that wasn't the aim i was just trying to do you know i was it's trying to make face. something out of uh, out of the situation i was in and to be yeah. fair i was an associate and and the other person was a senior manager so the gap was huge uh, you know my one day's rate card would be would be an r rate card for him kind of or something on those lines so it was you know i could be on red team and you know be really really uh less expensive, I guess you can say, it's if you don't want to use like cheaper, so that's a word. Uh, and that was my intro to Red Team. Uh, and touch word, the first few went really well. 
uh, and the, essentially that's what I ended up doing. So I ended up doing Red Team back to back. Um, uh, and then I did so many that I was like, okay, this is time I'll go and get my inf, uh, CCD inf, which which is what I actually wanted to do initially. Uh, so I went out and got the CCD inf, uh, and that was my third sort. Um, in between, I did a few other sorts uh, like Azure and CRTE, which is the Red Team certified uh, expert by Pentester Academy and so on. But specifically with Crest, I did app and then inf. Uh, then I changed my role, came to the current company, started leading uh, leading Red Teams a lot more and found the time and space to say, I'm gonna sit and prepare for SAS, uh, which is Crest Certified Similar Attack Specialist. Hey, they need um, to show you slip in time. <laughs> too many thoughts, man, too many thoughts. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just, just did that when I, quite early when I joined this company uh, in the first like six months or so. And that was partly because uh, we, I wanted to get the star accreditation by, by, by Crest. And one of the requirements for that is to have someone who has SAS as a certificate in your team. But I thought it would be just nice to have that. And also one of those things is, is, the, is the top of Crest. I, I wanted to do it once. Say I've done it. I may not do it again. Get the, get the badge. Uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things, That's you know, you're done it <laughs> exactly. Uh, my my CCD app is actually expired, and I actually don't know if I'm gonna do it again or not. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those things. And yeah, that's that's so far. I think my sort. I've done a few other here and there. Uh, Sam main, on the cards. Main, no, for me. Oh, um, actually, I'll take that back. Never say never. I may <laughs> do it. May not. I don't have any intention to do it as, as of now. Um, partially because I just don't have the time to prepare for it. 